Cat Battle here with Living Web Farms at our Grandview Greenhouse, bringing you the next installment of Resilience Daily, our collaborative effort with the Organic Grower School to keep you informed about what food you can find out there now and what you can do to ensure that you'll be able to find food throughout the season. Today we're going to look at two plants that have put themselves along our pathway. One is chickweed. It is a wonderful green. People like to make pesto out of it. It's a great salad green. It's incredibly good for you. If you want to know more about how good it for, is for you, look up Susan Weed, chickweed. She's quite eloquent about all the ways that it's good for you. But even if it wasn't good for you, it is wonderfully good eating. Um, growing in midst, the chickweed, which is a weed that popped up, is a volunteer fennel. Fennel is a bulbing plant in the carrot family. You can see the bulbs right here. And this is pretty much a perennial fennel bed for us. It's been in for about four years and we're due to harvest our fennel again. And then it'll come back from its roots and we'll get to harvest them later. If we don't harvest this right now, it'll send up a huge stalk and wonderfully big umbels, um, umbeliferous flowers that the pollinators love. And indeed, if you want to be fancy, you can cut those flowers off, make sure there are no insects on them, and shake the pollen onto your food, and you would pay a lot of money to get that kind of a dish in a restaurant. Right now, though, we're going to talk about harvesting the chickweed. The chickweed is just starting to go to seed. You can see right there, there's a flower. And when it goes to seed, the energy leaves the leaves and goes all to stems and flowers. And we'll step back here for a moment and look at what that looks like and you'll see why that's not worth much worth harvesting. Right here is chickweed gone to flower. And so you see there's far more stem and much less leaf. And it's just really not worth the trouble of trying to get the little bit of leaf left off that stem. So you want to catch it before it goes to seed. We're about two days late maybe. It would have been better to get this about two days ago but it's still prime. Lots and lots of good eating here. So I like to cut it where I don't get a lot of stem and it might actually come back and give me another burst of leaves. Um, if you really needed more food you could harvest a lot more stem down here. Go to your cutting board, roll this up and chop it super fine. That, the term for that is chef and on right? And you wouldn't even notice that fibrous stem. And of course it is good for you, it's just is kind of chewy. Um, I don't like to do that. I prefer to harvest nothing but the best because there's lots of it around. So I just take it like that. I'm going to give this guy a haircut and it might well come back and give us another harvest. As far as food quality goes, the flowers are not a problem. It's just when they get to be more stem than leaf, that's when it's a problem. All of it is edible and quite delicious. And then the fennel here, you can actually eat the leaves. They have a nice flavor. You can chop them up and put them in salads. Um, this one here is going to be a good while before it makes a bulb. Well, actually, it's made a little bulb. I take that back. That could be harvested. And indeed, maybe we'll do that. We'll just take this guy out. And so this is the part you eat right here. It's sweet, crispy, and tastes like fennel. Tender, juicy, mildly sweet, mild fennel flavor. Great in salads. Great in the summertime with basil and tomato. That's a wonderful salad. Um, it's also great braised. Lots of uses for it. So this is some gourmet wild food that wild food and volunteer food you can access if you have a garden or if you don't have a garden, just any weedy patch might well have the chickweed. 